The Beginning, edited by Mara Louise Pratt. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. In the beginning, when the beautiful and sunny world was first made, there stood in the very midst of all its beauty Mount Ida, a mountain so high, so far away up among the snowy clouds that its summit was lost in the shining light of the rays of the sun. At its base, stretching away to the north, the south, the east, and the west, as far as even the eyes of the gods could reach, lay the soft green valleys and the great broad plain beyond, encircling the whole great plain and curling lovingly around it in all the little bends and bays of the distant shore, lay the deep blue waters, and beyond the waters, hidden in the distant mists, rose the great mountains in which the frost giants dwelt. On the top of Mount Ida, the gods had built their shining city Asgard, and from its golden gateway to the valley below was stretched the richly colored Rainbow Bridge, with its wonderful bars of red and yellow and blue, orange and green, indigo and purple. And in this shining city, where the gods dwelt, there was no sorrow, no grief, no pain of any kind. Never was the sun's light shut off by heavy clouds, never did the cruel lightnings flash, nor came their blights upon the harvest fields. Never did the heavy rains fall, nor did the cold wind sweep down upon this shining city. But alas, there came a time when a shadow fell upon this city that shone so like a golden cloud resting upon the mountain peak. For the fates, the three cruel sisters, came and took up their abode at the foot of the wonderful tree of life whose roots were in the earth, and whose branches, reaching high above the shining city, protected it from the sun's fierce heat and strong white light. And from that time even the gods themselves were no longer free from care and sorrow. Envy sprang up among the children of the great god Odin, sickness and even death fell upon them, and the frost giants waged war with them, a war that would never cease in all the ages that were to come until that day when the sun's light went out forever and the dark rain of Ragnarok fell upon the earth. It was a beautiful earth that lay stretched out at the foot of Mount Ida. The fields were rich with grain, the trees were loaded with fruits, the sun shone warm and bright, but there were no harvesters, no gatherers of the fruit, no children to run and frolic in the sunshine. The fair earth is desolate, said Odin to himself, as he looked down from his golden temple. There should be people there, not gods and goddesses like us here upon Mount Ida, but beings less powerful than we, beings who can love and enjoy, and whose children shall fill the earth with their happy voices, and the care of all these beings shall be mine. As he spoke, he, the old father, passed down the rainbow bridge out into the rich green valley below. As he passed on beneath the trees, he saw, standing together, their branches bending towards each other, a straight, strong ash and a gentle, graceful elm. From these trees, said Odin to himself, will I create the earth people, the man I will name Ask and the woman Embla. It is a beautiful, sunny world, they should be very happy in it. How their children shall delight in the broad fields and the sunny slopes, and no harm shall come to them, for I, the All Father, will watch over them in all the ages to come. End of the beginning, a Norse folktale, read by Just Seth.